probably the best it's been in a really long time. And the sense of urgency on both ends of the floor. Um, so it's a good step in the right direction. Um, we wanted to obviously beat them and create some separation. We've got a lot of work to do to get that number one seed and, and close out the season strong. But uh, just in terms of our start tonight <clears throat> and overcoming some, some lulls, uh, me turning the ball over, and everything else was great. First start of the game, you guys came out on fire, <clears throat> and then you closed the first half, those last three minutes, with a, you know, to hit them in the face. Um, can you explain why your defense is so important to what you guys do on the other end? Because that seems to be just the keep, yeah, It keeps the pace up, um, and we understand that in the open floor, with whoever has the ball pushing in transition, that you know, we're tough to stop. And, uh, and overall, we executed better in the half court for better stretches of the game, but obviously when we get stops, we're, we're pretty lethal. So uh, the reason it got stagnant in the first half at Georgia in the first quarter and early in the second, we fouled too much. They were getting to the free throw line and being able to set that defense up. Uh, once we started to get more stops and turn it into transition opportunities, it was great for us. Steph, how would you compare the energy and vibe in the arena and around the team when Clay gets going versus when you're out of your night or Kevin? I mean, it's all pretty electric. Seen it over and over again, no matter really who it is. Myself, KD, Clay. So um, we need those type of moments. To uh, I hope it doesn't ever get like it's not ever expected. Where it's like, oh, there it is. it's another day. Um, that, that that energy is still there. Uh, tonight it was. Obviously, considering how the Boston game went, um, it was a good good feel type of game. Steph, it seems in the conversation about how the Warriors aren't playing defense, uh, 